Today we're diving into the mysteries of space and the universe. Get ready to have your mind blown with these incredible facts. From the silence of space to the twinkling of stars, we'll uncover the science behind these cosmic wonders. So buckle up, space cadets, and prepare for an awe-inspiring journey through the cosmos. Tell me why we can't hear sound in space. You know how in movies, spaceships always explode with a deafening roar? Well, in reality, space is eerily silent. That's because sound waves need a medium to travel through, like air or water. Space, however, is a near-perfect vacuum, meaning it's mostly empty. Without air molecules to carry sound waves, even the most colossal explosions would be met with absolute silence. Imagine that, an entire universe where no one can hear you scream. It's a stark reminder of how different the environment of space is from our own. So the next time you see a spaceship battling it out in a galaxy far, far away, remember that in the vacuum of space, it's a silent movie. Tell me why astronauts float in space. Ever dreamed of floating effortlessly like a feather? Well, astronauts aboard the International Space Station live that dream every day, but it's not because there's no gravity in space. The reason astronauts float is because they're in a constant state of freefall. Imagine yourself on a roller coaster as it plunges down a steep drop. You feel that weightless sensation, right? That's freefall and that's what astronauts experience all the time as they orbit Earth. They're essentially falling towards Earth, but their forward velocity is so great that they keep missing it, constantly circling our planet. This creates a sense of weightlessness, or microgravity, allowing astronauts to float, flip, and even chase after floating blobs of water. If you are enjoying such tell me why amazing facts, then please do subscribe to our channel, watch the video till the end and leave a comment below. Tell me why Venus is so hot. Venus, our closest planetary neighbor, is a place of scorching temperatures and crushing pressure. It's often called Earth's evil twin because while it's similar in size and composition to our planet, its surface is hot enough to melt lead. The thick atmosphere traps heat from the sun, creating a runaway greenhouse effect that has turned Venus into a scorching hellscape. Imagine the most intense sauna you can think of. Multiply the heat by a hundredfold, and you're getting close to the conditions on Venus. It's a stark reminder of the delicate balance of our own planet's atmosphere and the importance of understanding and mitigating climate change. Venus serves as a cautionary tale of what can happen when the greenhouse effect spirals out of control. Tell me why shooting stars aren't stars. We've all gazed at the night sky and witnessed the fleeting beauty of a shooting star, a streak of light that momentarily illuminates the darkness. But despite their name, these celestial wonders are not stars at all. In reality, shooting stars are tiny bits of space debris often no larger than a grain of sand, called meteoroids. These cosmic travelers hurtle through space at incredible speeds, and when they collide with Earth's atmosphere, they create a spectacular light show. Most meteoroids completely burn up in the atmosphere, creating a momentary spark of celestial brilliance. So the next time you see a shooting star, remember that you're witnessing the fiery demise of a tiny space traveler, a cosmic firework display orchestrated by the laws of physics. Tell me why we see the same side of the moon. Our celestial companion, the moon, has captivated humanity for millennia. But have you ever noticed that we always see the same side of the moon? It's not just a coincidence, it's a fascinating consequence of celestial mechanics. The moon is tidally locked to Earth, meaning that its rotation period is the same as its orbital period around our planet. This synchronized dance between the moon and Earth results in the same side of the moon always facing us. While we only see one face of the moon from Earth, it's important to remember that the far side, often referred to as the dark side, is just as illuminated by the sun as the side we see. It's just that we never get to see it directly from our vantage point. Tell me why the sky is blue. Have you ever looked up at the sky on a clear day and wondered why it's painted in hues of blue? It's a question that has captivated poets, scientists, and curious minds for centuries. And the answer lies in the way sunlight interacts with our atmosphere. Sunlight, despite appearing white, comprises a spectrum of colors, each with its own wavelength. Blue light, with its shorter wavelength, is scattered more effectively than other colors, like red or orange. This scattering of blue light is what gives our sky its characteristic blue hue. At sunrise and sunset, the sky often appears red or orange because the sunlight has to travel through more of the atmosphere to reach our eyes. 
This longer path through the air scatters away more of the blue light, allowing the longer wavelengths of red and orange to dominate. Tell me why the Big Dipper is so famous. Look up at the night sky and you're bound to spot the Big Dipper, a prominent group of seven stars that has captured the imaginations of stargazers for centuries. But the Big Dipper isn't a constellation, it's an asterism, a recognizable pattern of stars that's part of a larger constellation. The Big Dipper is part of Ursa Major, the Great Bear, and its seven bright stars form the bear's tail and hindquarters. The two stars at the end of the Big Dipper's cup point directly to Polaris, the North Star. Polaris is positioned almost directly above Earth's North Pole, making it an invaluable tool for determining direction. So the next time you find yourself gazing at the night sky, locate the Big Dipper and follow its pointer stars to Polaris. Tell me why asteroids don't form a planet? Between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter lies a region of our solar system teeming with millions of rocky remnants from the early days of our solar system, the asteroid belt. These space rocks, ranging in size from pebbles to dwarf planets, are leftovers from the planet formation process that unfolded billions of years ago. Jupiter's immense gravity acts like a cosmic shepherd, preventing the asteroids from clumping together and forming a larger body. Instead, Jupiter's gravity stirs up the asteroid belt, creating a chaotic environment where collisions are frequent. These collisions can send asteroids hurtling through space, sometimes on trajectories that intersect with Earth's orbit. By studying asteroids, scientists can piece together clues about the conditions that prevailed during the formation of our planetary neighborhood. Tell me why we can see the Milky Way. On a clear, dark night, far from city lights, you might be lucky enough to witness a faint band of light stretching across the sky like a river of stars. That, my friends, is the Milky Way, our galactic home. Our solar system resides in one of the Milky Way's spiral arms, about two-thirds of the way out from the galactic center. The Milky Way contains hundreds of billions of stars, and the faint band of light we see is the combined glow of countless stars too distant to be seen individually with the naked eye. It's a humbling reminder of the vastness of our galaxy and our place within it. Tell me why planets don't twinkle. Have you ever noticed that stars twinkle while planets generally shine with a steady light? It's a subtle difference, but it reveals a lot about the nature of these celestial objects and how we perceive them from Earth. Stars, those distant balls of burning gas, are so far away that they appear as pinpoints of light in our night sky. Their light has to travel through Earth's turbulent atmosphere, which acts like a giant lens, bending and distorting the starlight. This constant bending and shifting of the starlight cause it to appear as if it's twinkling. Planets, on the other hand, are much closer to Earth than stars. This larger apparent size means that their light is less affected by atmospheric turbulence. So, while stars twinkle like distant fireflies, planets shine with a more steady and unwavering glow. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed these mind-blowing facts about space and the universe, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more amazing content. We've only scratched the surface of the cosmos, and there's so much more to discover. From black holes to distant galaxies, the universe is full of wonders waiting to be explored. See you next time.